everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marissa Lachlan. I'm a holistic nutritionist and I love to talk about all things health and wellness. For today's video, I kind of thought it would be fun to take you guys through a cozy evening at home when I have the night off. So most evenings during the week, I either am hosting a webinar, attending a webinar, or teaching yoga. But some nights that I have nothing planned, I really try to make it a full self-care evening of just things that make me feel really good. So. I think I'm gonna start by doing a quick little workout. I have not eaten a whole lot of food today, so I don't know how long I will last before I'm absolutely starving during my workout. So I'm gonna go get changed, and then I'm gonna mix up some of my favorite electrolytes, so there's some protein in that, and then I'm gonna head down to the basement. So I don't know how much of that I'll film. I'll say I'm not very confident in filming my workouts yet because I'm not an expert in it. I'm really still like learning myself and navigating a home gym, which has been quite the experience. So we'll see. But regardless, let's get that ball rolling before I lose some motivation. obsessed with the Organica Enhanced Collagen Electrolyte Powder. It tastes so good. It's a perfect way just to feel a little bit energized and it does have some protein there to keep my blood sugar stable through my workout. summer Shay and I decided that something we wanted to invest in for ourselves and for our health this year was expanding our home gym. Now we've been talking about this for a long time but obviously it takes time and money for this to occur so we have finally been able to make this step and it's been really really nice for our mental health, our physical health, and also just a really great way for Shay and I to connect without having to go through the lengths of traveling to and from a gym. Both of our schedules just do not allow for that time, so it's been really great having this just in our basement where we can just pop down for a 20 minute, a 40 minute, an hour workout, and just get it done. by now our little pup Harper will do anything for affection for love for a good pet and she actually attends every single one of my yoga classes and when we're downstairs working out in the gym she tends to be right by our side sometimes on the couch just watching us do our thing and waiting for us to pop over and give her a big old smooch Right, that is done. Just a quick little half hour workout was all I needed. I will say I really struggle to stay motivated when it's the evening. I don't know if it's just because it's getting dark earlier or what it is, maybe just because I get up so early and have long days that I just struggle to find the motivation in the evening. So I prefer to work out in the mornings when I'm fully energized and can give it my best. But I did a quick little lower body workout and some yoga and I'm feeling good. Now I'm gonna make some dinner. As you saw, I put some chicken in the Instapot before I went to work out because 
that's gonna take the longest to cook so it's actually done and I think I'm just gonna keep it simple I have some cauliflower and peppers in the fridge and then I picked up this new tikka masala sauce I think it's from the good food brand anyways I'll show you in just a second but I think I have just a chicken cauliflower pepper curry and to keep it simple so let's get to prepping so that I can chill out for the rest of the evening While those veggies are steaming I'm gonna get the girls dinner ready and figured I would show you what we give them so they currently take a probiotic supplement good for digestive health and also they do take a skin and coat combination supplement both of our girls have some sensitive skin and sometimes get seasonal allergies we also limit the type of fat they get in their diet just due to digestive issues so sometimes their coat gets a little bit dry and we found that this has made a huge difference they also get some delicious organic kefir on top and then a dry food by Merrick adding the diced chicken to the steamed vegetables and this is the sauce that I'm going to be using. It's by Good Food for Good and what I love so much about this company is the ingredients list. All of their products are so clean. They're organic, they're paleo, Whole30 certified and instead of adding sugar to it they actually sweeten it with dates which is so cool. I made a last minute decision to add half a can of organic coconut milk just to thin it out a little bit. The sauce is really thick and I wanted to go a little bit farther. Something you may not know about me is that I am obsessed with music. I don't think I can do anything in the house or at work without having some type of playlist on the go. So in the evenings I like to have a like cozy, quiet, acoustic playlist playing just to kind of set the mood for the night. I should have addressed this at the beginning of the video, but just to give you guys a heads up, to those of you who might be wondering where the heck Shay is in this video, he's actually at work for this night, so I'm just enjoying this cozy evening to myself, cooking the meal that I want to eat. so good I honestly was not expecting that sauce to be as good as it was I really think adding in the coconut milk really made it 10 times better um, but I love curry and I'm really particular with the taste of curry but that was phenomenal so I will definitely buy that again um, I just went down a little rabbit hole of watching some TikToks. it's now quarter to eight I am slowly fading, so I need to clean the kitchen because fun fact about me is I cannot sleep soundly knowing that the kitchen isn't cleaned. Um, there's nothing that I appreciate more in the mornings than waking up to a clean kitchen. It just sets the tone for the day. So I need to clean up the kitchen, get the dishwasher going, and then I'm going to start to wind down and start my self-care ritual so give me a few minutes to clean up and I'll be back you need a bath just like to relax until you have a bath so so good so refreshing 
So anyways, let me go wash my face. Okay, face is all clean. I am currently using the Three Ships Refresh Cleanser. I really like this one because it's great for acne prone skin, but what I will say about it is that I find it very drying. So as the season changes and you know the skin starts to be more dry and delicate, I personally will be switching over to more of a creamy cleanser. They do have a gel cleanser, which is a little less harsh. Um, so that might be one that I try next. So I talked about Three Ships brand in a previous video, super quick. I mentioned that they offered me a discount code for you guys, so I'll leave that down below. But also, really great news, we now sell it at Joanne's Place. So it is a Canadian company. Two young women out of Toronto started it. Um, and they're really about finding natural products, but with active ingredients to support acne prone skin, but also like drying skin, maturing skin, and just even everyday skin as well. So I really like this company so far. I've tried this product. Their hyaluronic acid and vitamin C serum, which is amazing. And I'm currently loving their pina colada lip scrub. I haven't had a lip scrub in a really long time, but um, I love that. At Joanne's place, we have the vanilla, and I cannot wait to try it. I love things that are vanilla. So anyways, that's my current uh, facial wash right now. I have some really cool products coming in the mail. They should be arriving next week, and I'm going to do an unboxing YouTube video for that because I'm so excited I got my hands on these products. Anyways, tonight's skincare, keeping it super simple because it is tanning night i have never been one to love a tan but let me tell you this summer after spending every single weekend on the water i got the most beautiful natural tan that i was obsessed with i was so proud of it i would show anyone my freckles were showing i just had this like glowing bronzy look and i was so so happy with it so i'm in denial I don't want that to fade. It's faded, very much faded, but I'm trying to recreate it with natural tanners, which is really challenging because there's a lot of tanners on the market that have a lot of shitty ingredients in them um, that I will not use, like dyes and fillers and uh, synthetic fragrances and things like that that really irritate the skin, and I am not for that. But Joanne's Place has a fantastic natural tanning line that I am obsessed with. Two products I use twice a week. These are products you can use every day, but for myself, I want it to be natural looking. I'm very fair skinned, red hair, so I don't want to be too, too bronze in the middle of winter, but I do want to have a little bit of glow. So I am using Eco Tan, their face tan water. So this is a liquid, obviously, and you just need a little tiny bit. It just smells so so nice so i apply this on my neck on my face two times a week i've been using this for a few weeks now i'm about halfway through the bottle i really like it because it's safe for acne prone skin which is something i'm always um trying to make sure with my skincare products that they're not going to aggravate my acne also it is uh, vegan 93 percent of it they're using organic materials for it uh, made in Australia, all natural, and I just think it's a really fantastic natural product to use. Now, the other product by then that I am obsessed with is their winter skin. So I've been using this product for three years through the winter. I love it so, so much. It is a gradual tanner. So this one is a light to medium, but you can obviously build up using it. This is a very runny liquid. I'm gonna tell you that. That's one, one thing about it, is it is very, very runny. So you need to just be very mindful on how much you are using. So I apply this all over my body just to get a nice natural glow. And I also find it very hydrating, which is nice, especially this time of year. They have one other product that I have not personally tried yet, but it is their dark, mousse so if you are somebody who prefers more of that dark tan then you can use that i think for me it might be a little too dark for my natural skin tone so i'm a little bit nervous to use it but if you do prefer that then that's an option as well all right lastly the only other product i'm going to be adding into my skincare routine is at bedtime so i've talked about this product before it's the mad hippie triple c night cream it is so beautiful. It smells amazing. It's such a lightweight 
And when you wake up, your face honestly feels like a baby's bum. So, so soft. Vitamin C, antioxidants, there's adaptogens in here. There's reishi, which you know I love. Medicinal mushrooms. I'm gonna apply this right before I go to bed so that I can give this tanner a nice set uh, before applying anything on top. So I'm gonna put this beside my nightstand and that's it for my evening skincare routine. It changes literally every day, but tonight I'm just gonna keep it simple. It's now nine o'clock, I need to wind down. So I'm gonna go make myself a nice calming tea and kind of see where the rest of the night takes me. I'm either going to watch some YouTube videos of some of my favorite vloggers, I might check my email, or I might just crawl into bed and call it an early night. So let me make a tea first and see where the rest of the night takes us. on a few things. I have a post that I want to go on Instagram tomorrow. I have a few emails that I didn't get to today and part of my self-care is just reducing as much stress in my day-to-day -day life as possible. So if I can just quickly catch up on those things in the evening to take off my stress load later on in the week, that is just so supportive for my health. Anyways, if you guys want to know my secret tea recipe, and it is a recipe, it's not just a tea bag in here, I posted the recipe on my TikTok channel, so I will leave that in the comments below. Go check it out. I call it a witchy woo immune boosting tea. It's so soothing. There's medicinal mushrooms in there. Tulsi, which is really great for stress. We've got some ginger, which is great for digestion. It's just all around a delicious drink, and I pretty much drink it every night through fall and winter. And then whenever I feel like a cozy type of evening. So that is my favorite fall drink. And I will leave that below. Anyways, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I'm going to log off in 15 minutes. I'm going to crawl into bed and maybe watch a show on Netflix. I'm not really sure. Not much I'm digging right now. So we'll see. Anyways, let's wrap this up here. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. This was very challenging to vlog because I'm so new to different angles and like having a rhythm or not having a rhythm, I guess, through a video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. So I know that you guys want to see more spontaneous day in the life type of vlogging style videos from me um, in the future. And then also, if you haven't already, please be sure to have subscribed to my channel. I, at the beginning of this year, I wanted a thousand followers and that was so unrealistic, but I still have that goal in mind and I'm still working towards it. So be sure to follow me if you haven't already and uh, let me know you guys want to see next in the comments below as well. Thank you guys again for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.